Hello and welcome. Today, I'm diving into a pressing issue that affects millions across North America, the housing crisis. Both Canada and the USA are experiencing significant challenges in meeting the growing demand for housing. The solution? Investing in our workforce and shifting our focus to building more single detached homes. These are the numbers that I want you to look at. Okay, um, we are only building in Canada right now on about 3,400 single detached homes. In 2024, we're set to build 3,500, okay? So that's an increase of only 3%. If you look at all others, 16,833 apartments, condos, row houses, you know, just not single detached homes. Look at that. We're building four times more condos, apartments than we are single detached homes. 20 years ago, these numbers would have been reversed, okay? And that's also, uh, as you can notice, the more that the, this all other number increased, the more expensive everything became. Overall, buildings down 11%. Look at that, down 9%. These are the numbers we have to pay attention to, okay? When the Liberal Party talks that, oh, we're building all these houses or whatever, blah, 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 they're, they're using the total number of buildings. You have to break it down and look at what they're building. And that tells the tale right there, okay? We need to be building 16,833 single detached homes versus 3,500, we'll say, all others okay the striking shift into into uh, multiples versus singles in canada's housing market okay you can see right here this is exactly what i was talking about from 2000 to 2017 the numbers have literally zigzagged and this is the greed index i call this the greed index they're trying to give you less for more it's also uh, like another form of shrinkflation in a sense okay because all these you, townhouses and condos and all that they're 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 jacking the prices up they're expensive because the housing prices the houses housing market ha, like the availability of actual houses single detached homes where families thrive and what everyone wants and, and really wants the supply has gone so far down this is why prices are so expensive these numbers should literally be opposite from each other okay now, the United States is doing much better than we are, and it shows. It really shows. Let's look at the numbers. In 2023, Canada saw approximately 245,000 housing starts, while the United States recorded over 1.3 million. Yet, despite these efforts, vacancy rates remain stubbornly low, and affordability is a major concern. The situation calls for a strategic shift in our approach to housing. To meet this demand, we need to focus our federal funding on training a new generation of skilled workers. And this starts in our schools. We need advanced trades programs that equip students with the skills they need to succeed in construction and beyond. Imagine classrooms where students are learning everything from carpentry to electrical work, laying the foundation for a robust workforce. But it doesn't stop there. Apprenticeship training is crucial. By providing funding for these programs, we can ensure that new workers receive hands-on experience under the guidance of seasoned professionals. This not only improves the quality of work, but also speeds up the learning process. Another essential aspect is equipping new workers with the tools and equipment they need. Starting a career in the trades can be daunting without the right resources. By investing in tools and equipment for our for our apprentices, we, re we remove barriers and set them up for success from day one. And additionally, we mustn't forget our existing workforce. Providing opportunities for workers to upgrade their skills ensures that they can adapt to new technologies and methods, staying ahead in an ever-evolving industry. The positive social benefits from home ownership and stable housing are compelling. As this paper has shown, there is evidence from numerous studies that attest to the benefits of occurring to many segments of society. Homeownership boosts the educational performance of children, induces higher participation in civic and volunteering activity, improves health care outcomes, lowers crime rates, and lessens welfare dependency.
Owning a home is different from renting. With the home purchase comes the pride of ownership and the sense of belonging in a community where one has a financial stake in the neighborhood. Perhaps homeowners are happier just from having achieved the so-called American dream. A sense of accomplishment, a milestone. Also, ownership entails greater individual responsibility. Now, let's talk about the types of homes we're building. While apartments, condos, and row housing have their place, there's a pressing need for more single detached homes. These homes offer families more space, privacy, and the opportunity to build equity. By prioritizing single detached home construction, we can address the growing demand for family-friendly housing. Homeownership requires a large, if not the largest, financial outlay of a person's life and often requires the responsibility of a mortgage spanning 30 years. Therefore, it is a long-term commitment which may alter human behavior. Okay, you can see single family is the red versus the gray, which is multifamily. Okay, Th this red, as long as the red is bigger than the gray, than the gray houses will be affordable. Given such an opportunity, public policymakers would be wise to consider the immense social benefits of home ownership for families, local communities, and the nation. But yeah, you can see this, like the line going up, 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 up. And this year, or 2023, it went down. Let's make sure this curve doesn't continue downward. But look at this, January 24, listings versus 2019, down 40% in the USA, down 40% overall. Single detached homes contribute to higher home ownership rates, promote family well-being, and foster stable communities. It's time we align our housing strategies with these benefits. In conclusion, Investing in our workforce through advanced trades programs, apprenticeship training, providing necessary tools and equipment, and continuous skill upgrading is the key to tackling the housing crisis. And by focusing on building more single detached homes, we can create communities that thrive. Let's put our federal funding where it matters most. Build a future where everyone has a place to call home. Join me in advocating for smarter investments in housing. Together, we can build a brighter future.